welcome to my channel for this cake and sugar art today i'm going to show you how to make this beautiful pollen for your flowers and how can you make these beautiful flowers so keep watching and don't forget to subscribe let's get started i'm making four colors pollen so i'm using four glass bowl let me show you like this so it's easy to see like this what I need the main ingredient of this pollen is semolina so I take a little bit for four of them now I'm using colors now I have green purple here and this yellow gold but it's making process is little bit different so i put green here and then purple here and yellow here now with this let me mix one by one to show you how it's coming the color mix 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 it's very it's very lovely this color purple purple green oh it's beautiful yellow now I'm going to make the gold gold one of course I'm using gold luster dust this much is okay and then I have to use a little bit lemon essence or almond essence today i'm using almond essence not that much and then mix it don't worry about this lumps when it's dry they are all be smooth and gone so I break the lumps and keep them aside to dry then I will show you so I have to wait 30 minutes then I will show you this gold pollen is dry so I break them the lumps with a brush now they are okay so here is our four color pollen let me show you how you can use them now i'm gonna show you how to use pollen for your flowers so i want to make a flower i'm using floral wire i need eight of them because i'm making two flowers so eight of them it aside I'm using white fondant I'm using this board so I can easily use wires roll my fondant this board is very useful for wire flowers and leaves I'm using this small cutter, small cutter, this for my flower. I need eight of them for two flowers. I'm using wire and use 
edible glue now push it inside this let me show you another one glue and then push the flour <laughs> push the oil inside use the foam pad place them here show you one so you make it a little bit longer so push it outside and make the edges thin this one make the edges thin it's very easy using this veiner place it here so like this press a little bit here and then with another one press it so here is the petal for my flower I'm making same way place it here and then press it the second one now I want to give them a nice shape I am using this like this Let me show you another trick here. I have only six, but I have eight of them. So what I'm doing, I'm using this uh, foil. So I want to make the same shape like this one. So I push it inside and side also. I want to make the same shape. So it's the same. For the center of the flowers, one I'm using only one so yeah. make it round and then this shape make it a little bit curve here so I keep it aside to dry for second flower I'm using three of this same size it's not that big small I'm using wire. Mm -hmm. Push it inside. And then make it a little bit flat. Like this. So keep them aside to dry. Our that three, they also dry. So let me use these three colors for these three. So I keep it aside and use this three one by one. So I use a little bit of water. Now I'm using one of this and then dip this. So 
use the purple one wow so beautiful let me finish it and show you almost done yeah oh see this one it's purple now I'm using the gold one and then I'm going to show you the flower nicely and then use this gold so I think I can use a spoon or something Use this one. There is my gold one. So using the floral tip. First time making the this one. So bend a little bit this one's. So I'm using this tip put them together it's very easy but this flowers looks very pretty you can use any shape petals for this flower so here is our one flower now I'm making the second one the second one so I bent a little bit together three of them like this here is also four this flower is beautiful and easy to make hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching see you soon bye bye